everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for one that was voted on by our Patreon community called Rococo the Deluxe Edition. Yes, this one is designed by three different designers, Matthias Kramer and both Stefan and Louis Maltz. And it's published by now Eagle Griffin Games for this Deluxe Edition. Yeah, so this game was originally released um, a few years ago now. I don't remember the Maybe exact date. Maybe like 2013, date. something like that. Mm -hmm. And then now it has been re-released with this new Deluxified Edition that has new artwork and uh, upgraded components in a much bigger box. Much bigger. Yeah. And so, as per usual, we're going to start with a teach of the game, then go into a full two-player playthrough, and then discuss our thoughts at the very end. And so if you're interested in jumping around, we'll include timestamps down below. Once again, thank you so much to our Patreon community for voting for this game, because now we are going to be playing it. Mm -hmm. And if you do like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. All right, we are ready to begin. So if you please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for our two-player game of Rococo Deluxe. This is the new uh, deluxified board with the, the new colorful artwork. Mm -hmm. And this is also the two player side of the board, by the way. So just to kind of give the lay of the land, you know, in this game, we are playing as uh, owners of our own tailoring company. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make clothes. As you can see here, we have uh, several different types of resources, and these are going to come in the form of a uh, garment material of different colors. Like cloth. Yes, and Silks. we're going to be uh, collecting these in order to turn them in to make garments. These clothes are either going to be sold or they're going to be rented to people who want to attend this ball in this uh, big, what is this, palace or something? It's definitely a palace, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, the palace has uh, five different halls, as you can see here. And these are where we are going to be putting out uh, clothes. Well, this is really where people are going to be visiting and standing to look out the window. They're going to be schmoozing. <laughs> And then, of course, at the very, very end of the game, we're going to have a fireworks display, and it's going to be whoever has the most points wins, right? Mm -hmm. And so a game of Rococo is played over the course of seven rounds. Each round, we're going to be playing cards from our hand in order to take actions. And then uh, basically, at the end of the game, whoever has the most points wins. It's not super heavy. It's no. uh, fairly straightforward. So let's talk about the specifics of a round. Now, like I said, the game is played over seven rounds. Each round is divided into four different phases. The very first thing that happens in each round is just a little bit of setup. So we're going to skip that for now because it just has to do with putting out more of these cards and, and garments and materials, etc. Mm -hmm. Once setup is done, then we move into the next phase. And during this phase, what you're going to do is you're going to pick up your hand of cards. And each player starts with the exact um, identical hand. Mm -hmm. And your hand basically represents the different types of employees that you have in your business. There are three different colors, and these colors represent their uh, experience levels, right? Mm -hmm. So we have gold, which I believe are the master. Masters. The masters. So they can do anything. The pros. The silver ones are called journeymen, and the bronze ones are um, apprentices. And the, the difference between the three different colors is basically which types of actions that they can take, which right. we'll talk about in a second. Right. And so during this phase, we are going to simultaneously select three of these workers from our hand in secret. And those are the three workers that you're going to be playing during the action phase. You don't have to decide which order you're going to play them in right now, but you do have to decide the three that you'll be playing. Yes, you'll be playing one by one, back to back, uh, kind of going round robin if it's multiplayer. Then once everyone's chosen their three cards, we move into the next phase, which is just taking actions. And so on your turn, you're going to be selecting one of the three employees from your hand to play. And so say it's my turn and I were to play this card, then I would first take one of the six main actions that I'm allowed to take with an apprentice, which you can also choose not to take, by the way. All of these main actions are optional. But once you've finished either um, resolving an action or skipping it, then you also get to take whatever the bonus effect is at the bottom of the card. Some cards, especially the, um, the master cards, don't have a special effect because it's such a powerful card, but most of them do. So in this case, I would get two coins from the supply as well. The first type of action you can take is over here, and this is just uh, hiring more employees. Now, this is the only type of action that requires specifically a master, which is the gold card. Mm -hmm. And so the way that that works is you would play specifically a master card, and then you would go over here and choose which card to, to hire. The amount that you have to pay in coins is dependent on how many cards are still there at the time of your choosing. And that is going to be a common theme throughout the rest of the actions. And so in this example, if there are four cards all face up, it's going to cost you five coins to hire one. When you hire a card, you're going to take it into your hand immediately so that you can play it this round, and this does not refill. Right. So now if somebody else were to go there, there are only three cards left, it's only going to cost three coins to take a card. So in that respect, timing is kind of important. You know, if you don't have enough money, then you may want to wait a little while if it doesn't really matter to you which card you're going to hire, right? Right. And just the way you remember that the master is the only one that can take this action, there's little thimbles here denoting that the bronze or the apprentice or the silver uh, cannot take these actions here. Now you can also fire your employees, and that is not an action. I don't think it's denoted on the board. Uh, no. And anybody can take that action. You just have to spend a card to do it, and then you fire that employee. <laughs> 
And when you fire an employee, there is a certain amount of money at the bottom left hand corner of the card. You get that immediately. So that uh, might be a nice way to get you um, out of a pinch. Or if you'd like to thin your deck, because this is still technically a deck builder. And that action is denoted on your player board right here, as well as all the other different actions you can take. Yes. The next type of action is taking the queen's favor token, which is right here, mm -hmm. and only a master or a journeyman, which is a gold or silver, can take this action. As you can see, it says that uh, bronze X. When you take this action, you immediately get to take five coins from the supply. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice way to get some money, but it also is the only way that first player will rotate. Right. So if you take this at the start of the next round during that setup phase, then uh, you get the first player marker and you get to go first. Yep. Also, whoever has this token at the very, very end of the game is going to get three prestige points, which are the victory points in the game. So that is the queen's favorite token. And of course, if it's not on the board anymore because somebody took it, then you can't take that action. Yeah, it's a one-time action every single round. The next two types of actions in the game are how you actually put together these different dresses. Over here, you can acquire resources or materials. And then over here, you can actually construct or build those different types of dresses. So this top row action here, uh, any employee can go here to do this. So you can use your apprentice all the way up to your masters. And it's very, very similar in the way that the pricing works, that the uh, employee hiring kind of work. You have three different drawers, and this little table over here tells you exactly how much it's going to cost to acquire one of these resource tokens. So if a drawer has all three of the resources in here, it's going to cost you two per. If there's only two, then it's one. And if it's only one left over, then it's free. You can take it into your uh, supply. But when you take this action, it's important to remember you're only taking one resource. That's right. You're not able to take, you know, several in one action. Yep. It's just one. You choose mm -hmm. one drawer and you choose one resource. Right. And when you choose a resource, so say it's my turn and I were to purchase this one, I have to decide immediately if I want to keep it for the two blue garments or if I want to discard it for whatever it says at the bottom, which this tile specifically says either lace or thread, which is a different type of resource that you may need in order to make these dresses. So if I choose to keep the tile, the deluxe version of the game comes with these uh, these trays mm -hmm. where you can put your tile in there and easily look at them because you're going to need to refer to them whenever you're trying to make dresses, but you also want to keep it a secret from your opponent. All right, so maybe you have some resources available and now you want to start making some clothes. The next type of action you can take is down here, and this is tailoring a garment. And so as you can see here, the only person who is not allowed to take this action is the bronze, the mm -hmm. bronze type of, of employee. Yep. But the way that this works is each type of garment here has a certain price listed underneath. And that is the amount of money you have to pay to the bank in order to make this garment. And so if we take a look at the anatomy of a garment tile, so let's say I take something like this. This garment, in order to make it, you have to have two pink uh, resources as well as one green and a spool or the thread. A yeah, spool, a thread, yeah. Yeah, so this is going to require several of these resources in order to make it. I would pay the amount, I would pay all of these resources to the supply, and then I would have to make a decision. When you tailor a garment, you can either choose to sell it or you could rent it out. If you choose to sell it, then you would get money from the bank equal to whatever it says at the bottom. So in this case, it would be 11 coins. Mm -hmm. That is a nice way to make quick money, but you're not gonna be scoring any points for any garments made this way. Alternatively, you can choose to rent it out to somebody who is going to be attending this ball. And if you were to choose to do that, then you would flip it over to the side that shows the person who's renting out this outfit. <laughs> yeah. And then you would choose one of the five halls to place it in. So as you can see, some uh, of these spaces give you an immediate benefit. So if I were to place this person right there, then I would immediately get um, the spool from a supply. If I were to place it here, I would get two coins from the supply. Some of these spaces require you to have played a master uh, employee when taking that action in order for you to place it onto one of those spots. Similarly, some of the garments in this row also have that uh, gold symbol at the very top. And that means you have to have played a master employee in order to just construct this garment. Yep. And any uh, garments that are placed in these halls at the end of the game will score you the number of points listed on the token itself. So this is going to get me two points. I would place my uh, token on top of it to show that it, it belongs to me. Right. Now at the end of the game, each hall is going to be um, kind of like an area control scoring. At the, at the very right hand side over here, you can see how many points each person is going to get. If I have the most number of garments that belong to me in this hall, I'm going to get five points and second most gets two points. And that uh, number of points is going to vary depending on the hall. Right. This hall in particular is considered the Royal Hall. And this is going to work a little bit differently in terms of this fireworks scoring, which we'll talk about in a second. But that is why it is also worth the most amount of points. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially it for um, constructing or tailoring garments. 
Uh, at the beginning of each round during setup, we are going to remove the, the rightmost two garments as long as they haven't been constructed. And that way, all of these garments will slide down and they get cheaper from round, round to round. And finally, the last type of action is funding a decoration. So mm -hmm. this is the it's kind of like the strangest type of action, in my opinion. But useful. Yeah. yeah. Any employee can do this. Doesn't matter the color. When we say decorations, uh, they're kind of they're decorations and statues kind of littered all over the board. Each hall has a musician which is uh, a person kind of standing at the rightmost here. There are three different statues that are uh, found over here. There are also some stuff in the kitchen. And then there are these fireworks displays. In order to fund a decoration, you pay whatever the price is for that decoration. It's usually very expensive. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it's going to cost you 17 coins to place your token here. And now this decoration belongs to you. It's going to get you four points at the end of the game. The decorations in the different halls are also going to serve as sort of like a second tiebreaker for the majority scoring in the hall. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the game, if there's a tie, the first tiebreaker is going to be whoever has the most in the master spaces. Yeah. And then the second tiebreaker is going to go to whoever has the decoration. And so that is how the decorations work um, in all of the five halls. In addition to those, we have these statues and the, the kitchen area. The statues are going to get you additional points at the end of the game, depending on how many different colors of garments you've rented out on the board. Mm -hmm. So you would look at uh, all the garments you've rented out at the very end of the game, and it's going to be, I believe, two points per different color, in addition to the points that you get for the statue itself. But yeah. these are expensive, like 20 coins, 30 coins, right? Yeah. Um, the kitchen area here is uh, specifically for income. Mm -hmm. So after the actions phase, we're going to go into an income phase where everybody gets a base amount of five coins every round. This is the only way to increase the amount of income you get. It's a little bit difficult to do. Each person can only purchase one decoration from each side of the kitchen. And so if I've purchased a decoration on this side of the kitchen, um, during the next phase, I'm going to get one coin for each uh, decoration I have funded. Right. And so that's, that's an addition to my five coins. Mm -hmm. The right side of the board here gets you one coin for each garment rental you have on the board. And the last type of decoration you can purchase are these fireworks displays up here. And so this is going to be, uh, this is going to go hand in hand with the garments that you've rented out in the Royal Hall. At the end of the game, if I've, if I've purchased a decoration, say I purchased uh, this one, and I have a garment rental uh, that's in the Royal Hall, for each of these firework spots that I have purchased in the balcony at the end of the game, I can move one of these garments from the Royal Hall into that spot. And it's kind of, it's basically like uh, the person who's rented out my garment is now watching the fireworks display from mm -hmm. the balcony, which means for some reason they're more valuable. <laughs> and this is going to change the, this is going to uh, give you a multiplier on the amount of points you get for that person. So this is 2x all the way to 3x up here if you pay the, the most amount of money, which means if you've purchased multiple of these spots here, make sure you have multiple uh, mm -hmm. rentals in the Royal Hall so that you can move them all up into the fireworks display. And that's pretty much it for actions. The one thing that we didn't mention is there is an all halls bonus mm -hmm. that you get for being the first person to have a, a rental in, in all five halls. Yep. And that can be found up here. It's going to be six points for the first person, two points for the second. And then once everybody's done taking their actions for the round, which is typically uh, three or four actions on average. Can because, be five. Maybe. Can be five, yeah. depending on how many employees you hired that round. Mm -hmm. But once everybody passes, that signals the end of the actions phase. You go into income. And like I said, everybody has a, a base value of five income during that phase. Mm -hmm. And then you rinse and repeat and you start over with the next round. The game is played over the course of seven rounds. So once the seventh round is done, then we go into end game scoring. At that point, you're going to trade in all of your money for points. It's 10 coins for one point. So it's not a very good uh, a ratio there. This is why the decorations are nice because yes. some places you see like eight to two, you know, 13 to yeah, four. Right, like, like nine, that. nine coins for two points mm -hmm. is way better than 20 coins for yep, two points. Exactly. Some employee cards will also get you points and you'll score them at that time. And those are most likely the, the later, later, game. On, later yeah. game because the employee deck is actually stacked from level one through six, yep. so they get sweeter as the game goes on. Mm -hmm. You'll score the majorities in each of the halls, then you'll also score the majorities in the fireworks. So I didn't I didn't mention that, but oh, there's a, a majority there. Yep. You'll then admire the fireworks, which is that whole thing where, <laughs> where whoever has purchased these get to move up the garments. Mm -hmm. You'll do the statue scoring, and then the last thing is you score all of your decorations and as well as the all halls bonus, mm -hmm. and whoever has most points at that point wins. And of course, whoever has this at the end of the game also gets three points. So that is pretty much it. That is how you play Rococo. We are going to get cleaned up and then get started with our playthrough. Okay, so we have reset the board. We just have to figure out who is going to be going first. Even's and <laughs> Yes. Right. Okay, what, what do you want? want? Uh, I'll take evens. Okay, one, two, three. Is it ah, me? That's, that's All right. not good. I get the thimble. That means she's always first player unless I take that one special action. Yeah. But it gets me five coins. It gets you five coins, yes. It's not so bad. All right. Um, all right. Well, 
we're gonna get started with round one. There's seven rounds as a reminder, and uh, we've already done all of the pre-setup. So now we're gonna choose three cards. All right, I'm ready. Same. I'm yeah. Ready. Yep. So the two that we didn't select will stay in the draw pile, yes. and the other ones are gonna be going out soon. Yep. And we also start the game with 15 coins yes. as well as one of each of the uh... lace and like a spool of thread. Yeah, the lace yeah. and thread. Mm -hmm. All right, so are you ready? Yeah, so you're first. Okay, actions phase. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hire an employee. So I'm gonna go ahead and play my- uh, my The gold? The gold, mm -hmm. the master. The master, yeah. the master, I need to remember that. Okay. Um, and this is not gonna have any benefit because the, the masters that we have at the start of the game don't have any benefit. Yep. But- uh, It's gonna cost you five bucks because it's a full uh, house, full yes. of employees. So I'm gonna discard my card. Here's the five. Okay. And I'm going to hire another. Master uh, for master. Master, yeah. Interesting. And so anybody you hire goes straight into your hand so that you can use them again um, for a future action this round. Right. All right. So very, it's now to you. Very, very good. And this master, by the way, gets me a coin. Every time I play I, them. Every time I play them. Yeah. And uh, just so you know, mm -hmm. we can clarify some of these ones that are already here. Sure. Uh, we have two silver and one bronze. Mm -hmm. And the silver ones, this one allows you to pay one coin to take a, um, a garment. That's a random. It's a resource, yeah. sorry, from the bag. Random. Randomly. This one is a silver one that allows you to take this action again, which is purchasing a resource. So technically not again, because you could have taken a different action yes. and then used this to be like, okay, now I'm taking that action over That's there. That's true. That is yeah. a good distinction. This, this it just allows you to take that action. Right. And then this last one, the, the bronze one, is a, a, a free resource in the bag. Free resource in the bag. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, seeing I made it cheaper for you. You did. <laughs> you know, I like the idea of having a silver. So I'm, now that you made it cheaper, I will uh, spend this. Okay to take the same exact action over here. And I want this one. I want the one that is gonna be silver that's gonna cost me a buck to take something free from the, the bag. So All right. uh, can I get two change, please? Yes. And there's no benefit here at this middle section. And then I will take this. And now this person now there is employed by me. It's back to me and I could technically, <laughs> how much would it be to hire another person? Uh, it would be one. I don't know, getting a resource for free from the bag is nice. Especially mm -hmm. early, I am gonna do that. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna play my other the the newly acquired uh, or hired uh, master card here. Sure. That's gonna give me a coin. But first, I'm gonna use this card to hire this employee. Okay. So how much is it? It's one. It's gonna cost one. Yep. Okay. So which, giving... you, which you're gonna get another one. That's true. So I'm gonna keep the ten because <laughs> I don't wanna make change for nine. Yeah. And the reason is because Monique's master card has one coin on it, so she would have to spend one, but mm -hmm. then she acquires one again. Right. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and hire them. And they go straight into my hand. That was nice. I mean, if you hired that last person, it's free. <laughs> if I have another gold card. <laughs> yes, that's true. Okay, so I'm gonna play the card that I just hired, or okay. the gentleman that I just hired, and I'm gonna take the action that gets me first uh -huh. player. No. So I'm doing it. So that's uh -huh. gonna get me five points for yeah. just taking this action. There you go. And then, um, because I played this one, I will take its benefit, which is gonna be pay a buck. Yep. To let which, the bag decide my fate. Which bag is it? Here, this one. It is the blue. It's a resources. Resources. So when you draw it, you have to decide in that moment if you'd like to keep it for the actual uh, right. resource or if you'd like to turn it in for whatever it says at the bottom. Correct. All right. It's like lace or something. I will probably keep it. I will keep it for what it is. Oh, secrets. secrets. So that's going to go on his uh, tile rack so yes. that he can kind of refer to it, but also keep it keep a secret it away for from me. You. Yeah, so I have it kind of off here. It'll be my secret. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right that's so me. back to me. And I think we're playing a game of chicken because nobody wants to pay full price I don't here. want to pay full price, even though it's only uh, two bucks versus one. But So then I'm going to play this card. So this is a, a bronze employee, and I'm going to take the action that allows me to purchase uh, these resources. Sure. And afterwards, I'll be able to do it again. So I was projecting earlier. Yes. I said that. <laughs> yes. I like that combo. I, yeah. So I'm choosing this drawer. Ooh. And uh, the first, because they're all full, you know, I have to pay two coins to do this. Sure. And so I'm going to buy that... That blue, the blue, one, yeah. the blue one. And I'm assuming so. you're gonna buy it for keeping the resources? Yes. And not for the bottom? Correct. I would like to keep the, the two blue. I would like to keep the actual resource. Mm -hmm. So I took eight and this is this is mine now. Very good. And then I'm gonna take the action again because that is what uh, my card said. And now it's only one coin, but I'm gonna choose this drawer again and okay. I'm gonna take this. Yep. And so I'm going to turn this in. This doesn't have any uh, garment color attached to, attached to it. I have to turn it in for mm -hmm. one of each. Yep. So this is going to go back in the bag. May I have one of each, please? Uh, one of each, yes. So. so you said no to the red one, huh? No, there's nothing, nothing that shows red for the future. 
I mean, there's this, but there's this that. is going to go away at the end it of the round. It is, yeah. You know, you had two golds, and this one requires a, a gold master to make it. It could have been straight up 15 bucks cash. Yeah, I, yeah. I went a little out of order there, yeah. and I may or may not have spent my last <laughs> yeah. gold play. I'm uh -huh. not, sh not going to say. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that's the end of my turn. So that's to you. Okay, I think I just need to get more resources. We have some dresses that need to be made. And this is only round one, so in round two, I need to make some. So okay. let's go ahead, and I'm going to use this apprentice, which is going to get me two bucks eventually. Okay. Uh, and so we're going to go, and let's go ahead and pick up. I'm going to pick up this one. Okay. Okay, so it's going to cost me two bucks. Yeah. So let's say I pay the two bucks, yes, which would come on there. Get yeah. it back. And I'd get so it back. Not yeah, nothing. Exactly. Great. Right, so, so, you're use, so you're taking it for the resource? It was two pink? Uh, yeah, I'm All keeping right. it. Yep, two All pink. Right. I almost didn't see it. Sneaky. <laughs> All right, back to me. Yep. All right, well, I'm going to go back here again because uh, my other uh, employee here is also an apprentice. And so I, I might as well go into this sweet drawer that Naveen left me with because <laughs> it's only going to cost one coin. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to pay a coin and I'm going to take this one, mm. the double blue, and I'm going to keep it for what it is. Okay. And the benefit on the card lets me take one from the bag for free. Okay. So this is a nice way to start building up uh, my supplies early. Are good these way. resources? Oh, yeah. I have to remember which ones are which, which bags. Bag. Which, yeah. yeah. Aha. Oh, that's a good one. Wow. Better than you needed. It's amazing. So you're keeping it for the resource. Oh, yeah. All right, last card. I, I think you have one more card, right? I have one more. All right, so last card is going to be this uh, silver worker. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go right back here and get more resources. Okay. I think I will take this one for free. Yeah. This pink one for free, and I'm going to keep it. Uh, the bottom here says I can spend one coin to gain either one lace or a spool. So let's go ahead and spend that coin. Okay. And I'm most likely going to get a spool, I think. Yes. Spool. All right. Let's get that yarn. So that's, you're done. That's me, yeah. All right. So back to me for my final uh, action because I only have one card left in my hand. And my last card is another apprentice. Mm. And so this one's going to gain me uh, two coins. But for the main action, I'm going to take this last resource for free. Yeah. It's red. There's not much. I mean, this is the only thing that's red and it's going away. So that means there's a higher probability. Most likely red's coming. Hopefully later. So I'm going to hold on to it. And I get the two coins, two coins. for the card. Very good. <laughs> Which one's two? Yeah, I know. The, the, yeah, okay. The gold The smaller one, gold yeah. ones are ones. Okay. All right. And that's it. That is the end of the actions phase. Uh, let's go to cleanup. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, income. Income. Sorry, we're going to income. income yes. So we're each going to get five coins. Five coins base. Uh, mm -hmm. Nobody has this statue for income, so mm -hmm. we're not going to deal with that. There you go. Or decorations, I mean. There you go. And there actually is no cleanup. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's the first phase of the next round. Yep. So that is it. That's the end of the first round. We're going to go into the second, starting with that setup phase where you get... The first player I get the thimble that goes As back. You took the token. I did. Then we're going to flush the employees. Yep. So any of them that are left over go out of the game because this is actually uh, our timer for the game. Yes, that's a good way to know uh, mm -hmm. what round you're in is this deck will eventually be all played out. So yes, and up. the employees get sweeter. I think there's like six different levels or something. Uh, yes, I think so. Okay, we're going to put these out. Mm -hmm. So we get four new employees coming out. Okay, what do we got? Okay. So we have this silver uh, card that lets you de depute a card from your hand. Um, I think just from your staff. Mm -hmm. You don't get any money that way, but you can take its bonus one last time before ditching it out Getting of the game. Of it it yep. helps you call your, your deck. Yeah, That one's just like the one that I have, mm -hmm. except um, instead of paying one coin, you pay nothing and right. you get uh, either one lace or one spool. This is a bronze card that gets you, a one, upon playing it, you get one point for every two decorations you have. Mm -hmm. And then this one lets you take uh, the tailor garment action for or either a, a pink or a blue discount. Wow. I like that nice. one, and I am first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, we're not done not with done. Uh, with setup. So yeah. the drawers, you leave the ones that are there, yep. you leave them in place, and then you just fill in the rest. Sure. And then the garments, we can also do at the same time. Yeah, so these last two are going to be the ones that go out of the game. Yeah. Everything else conveyor belts down, mm -hmm. and then we just refill. All right, and that's it for setup. We now have the appearance of another uh, another red there. Yeah. So. Uh, that might be picked up. Huh? Hold on to things. <laughs> mm. All right, are you ready to select your card? Yes. So we have two, and then um, even though it's deck building, you don't have to shuffle these. You get yes. your, your pick of the litter. So you're required to keep these two, and then of your discard pile that you now move to your draw deck, you can choose your third one. Exactly. Actually. All right, I am ready. You have your three. I do have my three. Yep. Okay, Naveen, starting with you. Action number one. Okay, uh, seeing as that's going to be probably pretty valuable, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and hire them. So right. I'm going to spend my master. Okay. And I'm going to spend a whopping five bucks wow. to hire 
this person, the one that gives me a discount anytime I tailor a garment that has a uh, pink or blue requirements. Yeah, that is so nice. So it's a so discount. Nice. Oh my it. gosh. But I made things cheaper. Uh, but those are, they're not that great. Not right now. So I'm just going to start by um, tailoring a garment, tailoring. right? Okay. Because this is the best time to do it. Sure. So I'm going to play my, you know, we're going to call them by their colors. Gold. I'm playing my gold card okay. here. <laughs> it's also going to get me a coin at the uh, afterwards. And ooh. I have some options, actually. Sure. You know what? Since I'm playing a gold card uh, to do this, I might as well play one, make one that requires gold. Oh, sure. wait. You know what? I'm going to make this one. Sure. So this is going to cost me one coin. Okay. And it requires, uh, let's see. First of all, it requires me to have played a gold card. Yes. So I did that. Mm -hmm. And so it requires me to spend two blue, mm -hmm. which I have right here, as well as one uh, thread. Nice. So there's okay. that. And then this goes, all of the, the resource tiles that you spend go get discarded. Okay. And if the, the bag ever runs out, then we put them back in. And now I have to decide if I want to sell this or if I want to rent it out. And I think I'm going to rent it out sure. because I used a gold card to do this. I might as well reap the benefits of a gold spot. Mm -hmm. And let's see, this spot is going to get me five coins. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, sure. So that gets me five coins immediately. So that's Spot kind of a nice spot in the house. early yeah. spot because yeah. it kind of gives you both. I'll put this token on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> No problem. Uh, oh, and I get one coin for playing the card. Okay. All right. And that's me. Back okay, to you. You got the five bucks for uh, placing on top. I did. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm just going to do this now. I'm going to go ahead and play this card, the card that I just newly acquired. Okay. The one that I can take any action. And then afterwards, as a bonus, I can take the action of tailoring a garment with the discount. Oh, so I'm going to yeah. tailor two garments with this individual, wow. one of which will be with a discount, not both of them. Okay. Okay. So I am going to tailor this one and this one. Both so of them. which one first? Uh, Does it matter? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Uh, but we let's just do it uh, one by one. So okay. I will spend... This one just requires me to spend two pink. So which one do you want to do first? Let's just do this, this one. one. Okay, so this is free because the last two spots here are free. I'm a cheapie. <laughs> so so spend... do pink. Do pink. Uh, that's out. Okay. Do you, you want to sell it or do you want to rent? Oh, no. We're renting it. Okay. We are going to rent Such this. Such confidence. <laughs> yes. Uh, we are going to rent it. See, I, I could sell it, right, for 11 or yeah. I could rent it to to get three back, you know, that, right. or get two back. Naveen mm. feels very confident in his designs. I do. All right, let's go ahead and rent it to the Tui. The Tui. Let's get myself two bucks. There you go. Well right. earned. Okay, and then with the bonus that I have here, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, but now with a discount of one pink. So that requires two pink. Yep. I will use that one pink that I acquired in the earlier round. Nice. So that goes out. And again, I'm going to send it back out into okay. the world to you're, be displayed. You're renting. I am. You know what? I want more money. Let's just go <laughs> here and diversify. Can okay. I have three more, please? Yes. Very controlling. That's not good for me. Well, you got the nice one right here. Look at it. So. There you go. So I'm in two places to get five total. You're in one place to get five total. So it's not that... Not that glamorous. It does get you one step closer to the all halls bonus. It does, That's Monique. Nice. Now, we did, did not. That. We did not discuss this in the teach, um, but in a two-player game, all of the hall majorities are only first place. That's right. Second yeah. place does not There's get no anything. So go big or go home, right? True. All right, done. That's me. Yep. That was a. That was quite the turn. Thanks. So I'm gonna to. I'm gonna tailor another garment. I'm gonna play my my gold card Ooh. for this. This is by one of my starting ones. Ooh. It doesn't have an additional benefit. And so I think wow, wow, wow. I'm going to tailor this the one. The 28-er, huh? Yeah. So this cost me five coins cool. just to have access to it. And it's going to cost me uh, three blue, which, oh my gosh, I have to wildly overpay for this. Oh, good. But well, that's good. I really need, I, I want to have oh, the money early cash. on. Yeah. So there. That's you. That's wow. right. Is that four blue and a You've green? You've seen it. <laughs> four blue. Okay, Monique has is overspending by one blue By and one green. Yeah, you don't get any change no here. Change. I also have to turn in a um, lace. A lace. I can never remember which one's which. Lace. So. Lace looks lacy. Yes. So I had to play a gold card, which I did, and that's it. I'm gonna sell this dress because it's gonna get me a uh, 28, 28 coins. So that's gonna go out. Not gonna sure. go on the board. Not gonna go on the board. Yeah. No. So I'm just trying to. Get my money now. Get your money right. I'm trying to save. Okay. How so many cards do you have this left? This is 30. Get back to. My memory have... serves me correct. Monique will not be hiring this round. What? How do you know? I know, I know the decks. I have one card left to answer your question. I know the decks. But it is back to you. <laughs> okay. I'm a little nervous that you're going to want first dibs on all the employees. Yeah. So I'm going to play this card. Okay. The silver one. And I'm going to take the queen. Uh... It gets me five bucks. I mean, I'll take five bucks. Maintain. Gosh. So can I have five bucks, please? What is going on? Yes. I should have taken, well, 
I was so scared that you were going to tailor uh, the garment that I wanted to tailor, and I couldn't remember which resource colors you have. Well, plus I drew from so, the bag randomly, so yes. yeah, you really didn't know. That's right. Uh, as the bonus now, I'm going to spend one coin mm -hmm. to randomly drag for the bag. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I have good the, luck. I think it's the blue bag. The blue bag. Yeah. Okay. These are nice bags. There you go. Okay. I, I want to label them, though. <laughs> I know, I can never remember, remember which, which was which. One. Yeah, there's a white bag and a blue bag. And then the expansion, there's like a gray bag also. Ah. All right. Okay. Are you keeping it? For yeah. its oh, I'm keeping resource. it. Resource. Oh, oh, yes. I mean, it's fantastic. Oh. Well, the, the tile that I had drawn earlier that I said was really good, I used it. It was a double blue green. Is it two blue? Oh, green? yeah. I, f I figured when you tossed that in there. Yeah. Uh, I just felt like I needed to seize that opportunity, yeah. right? So back to me for my final action because I only have one card left. Yeah. Naveen took the queen's favorite token. I, I had to. I had a feeling you were going to do it. Uh, I'm going to play my last card. It is silver, um, and I'm going to use it to uh, purchase a resource. Sure. So I think I'm going to buy this one, the two blue and a green, because I missed my last one. I shouldn't have spent it the sure. way that it did. Yeah, so it's going to cost you so, two. Yeah. So here's five. I'm going to keep the ones out of the bowl. Because There's a lot of ones going them. on. Yeah. Okay. So I got three back, and I'm taking this. Okay. And putting it in my rack. What's your little bonus? My bonus lets me spend oh, okay. one coin to get either one of those two things. I'm gonna spend the coin to take a um, the thread. The thread, yeah. Because that's the one that I'm seeing more of. That yeah, yeah. For now. That's why I took mine back back when. <laughs> Way back when. Way back when. All right, that's it. I'm out for the rest of the round. Actually. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So I have this card. Okay. Uh, this is a nice one right Bronzy. now. Bronzy. Yeah, I wish you took from here though. Oh, I'm making a mistake. I know. I had right. to really think about where, where? would Naveen not care. <laughs> That's Where why I went with that one. Care. Okay, so I'm going to play it, and I think for bronze, do I decorate? Do I oh, decorate? Oh, already? I mean, if you decorate here, you can start um, earning additional income. I, I could, yeah. So if I, if I decorate here for six, it's worth one point, mm -hmm. which, again, at the end of the game is 10 to 1, right, for money. And it would get me a coin back, and we have, what, five coins? And then I'm, I plan on decorating in the future. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> Maybe I don't do that. Maybe I buy some stuff. Maybe you buy some I make stuff. it cheaper. All right. Let's, okay. So uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and spend these two uh, to go ahead and take this green double. Okay. I'll take that. Now, uh, it's cheaper in these two areas. You know, I, I don't know what's going to be coming up later, but uh, two pinks are better than one. Yes. <laughs> and I don't think I want the bottom because I, I have a little bit of a little bit of everything here. So yeah, I'll take this one. I completely gonna... <laughs> agree. I mean, that's probably the best tile out of these two drawers, yeah. which is what you're looking for. Well, right? I was looking at this plus plus the, ah, the yeah the, you, the, the spool, the spool plus. thread the spool lace combo spool lace combo yeah, yeah that's always nice yeah but that's it that's me uh, that was all of it all right yeah so that is the end two of, rounds done yeah it's pretty much the end of the round let's take our income okay five for so me five i have all this money and i'm having regrets about not hiring additional people i'm gonna give a you can always decorate back. yes always decorate don't take you an action though all right that is the end of round two we're going into round three uh, starting with the setup, you, the I'm going to put this back. Naveen gets to go first. I do. So we have a, a whole new slew of peeps yes. coming in. Ooh. Oh, what do we have here? We have a Goldie. Wow. Okay. We have some good looking stuff. Okay. So this card here on the left, this is a, an apprentice that says whenever you play it, however many people are employed by you, uh, whether they're in your discard or in your hand mm -hmm. or in your draw pile, yep. that's how much money you get right away. Ooh. So if you have the max 11 people and you play that card, you get 14 bucks. Wow. A lot. How many cards do we have? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. I, I have four Very plus, close. I have four plus three. So that's seven, uh, plus the card itself is right. eight. So that would get me six coins every time I play them. Okay. So it's it's it's, it's really nice. It's, it's not bad. Yeah. When, yeah. You, when you want to make some money, uh, this one right here. When you play it, for every three dresses you have on the board, you get one point. Yeah. Uh, this one right here. Um, for every blue dress you have on the board, you get one point, and for or, sorry, one coin, and then for every green dress, you get two. Yep. So Monique has one blue dress. Right. And then this last one, Monique, what, was it, what does it do? What are we... This one allows you to depute a card, which is basically firing an employee. Okay. And instead of getting the amount of money at the bottom left, you get money based off of what type of card it is. What the value. So if it's a gold card, you get eight, silver is five, and bronze is two. Very nice. So those are, um, those are those. our employees. Yeah. And so let's go ahead and refill. Yeah, I'll slide these all down. There you go. All right, we're all set up. Everything got slid down. We have new tiles out there. We need our cards. And yes. I believe I have three cards, so I, I will not take from over here. These oh. are the three cards. I have four. Yeah. Because well. you had one extra turn in the previous, so you have more options. Right. Okay. 
I'm going to take these three. I think I need to start deputing, maybe. <laughs> deputing time. All right, Naveen, starting with you. All right, the only gold employee that I see is this one, so I'm going to spam that. Gosh, Naveen. Because gold employees allow you to make better garments, specific garments, and they allow you to hire more people. So You're such a swiper. <laughs> gold, I'm going to spend it. It's okay. going to cost me five, and I'm going to take this gold. It's not very good for me right now because it requires you to have blue and green garments out there. It's still a gold. But it's still a gold. And maybe I can start working towards that. Yeah. Perhaps. All right, that's me. Jeez Louise, Naveen. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm going to hire an employee as well. So this is my gold card. There's no uh, um, additional bonus. Okay. And I'm going to hire uh, one of the silver employees. I think this one. Sure. I'm thinking I need to thin my deck a little bit more. Yeah. So how much does it cost? Is it three? Uh, it's going to cost three. Okay. Three. So three coins. And this is going to help me depute. Uh, this might be a mistake. In the past, I've never really called my hand that much, but maybe that's the difference. Yeah, right? yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so totally. we shall see. All right. Back to you. Man. Oh, now that you took one here, I, it's, I'm, I'm debating coming back with that gold I just hired. <laughs> They're cheaper now. They are cheaper. I'm not going to hire right now. No? I, no, I want to, but okay. I'm going to spend this uh, silver card. Yes. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to go ahead and make myself a dress. Okay. We're going to make a dress. We are going to make this cheapy over here. So this is going to cost uh, two pink and a green as well as a spool. So let me go ahead and spend that spool. Okay. Here is two pink and a green. <laughs> Sorry, I only have two hands. Okay. Two pink and a green. All right. Okay, so and that's exactly that right there. Okay. So these go out, and now I think I want to diversify a little bit. You're going to rent? Let's go ahead and rent. Why are you doing all this? We're going to go ahead and put that there. Okay. And what I covered up is I get to take any one of these for free. That's so nice. Well, it's the cheapest. Ugh, that's so nice. Okay, I think I'm going to take... This double blue. Ooh. It's time to get involved in blue. No. <laughs> Stay yes. away. There's a lot yes, of a, yes, yes. there's a lot of double blue opportunity here. All right. And then as a bonus, I will spend one coin okay. to go ahead and get a spool back. So, because the last one required one. Yeah. Back it comes. It's one of those resources that it's like, it's not integral, but you're going to need it sometime and you don't want to not have it when you, you need yeah, it. Yeah. You right? definitely want to always have at least one of each, yeah. I would say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that was a great turn. Thank so you. now I have to follow that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to purchase some resources as well. So this is my, uh, my bronze worker. It's going to let me do it twice. Twice. Yep. So the first one I'm going to buy is this one, the double oh. pink for two coins. Mm. And then the second one, so let's just do this now. Sure. So it's, I'm going to spend three coins total. So sure. I'm giving five and taking back two. Right. So. What are you going to do the, with double pink, Moni? I don't know. I only see one <laughs> dress that really needs it. I'm taking the blue, by the way, and I'm keeping it. Oh, so, um, I see, I see. No wandering eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's I'm my turn. I'm just looking at the board. Purchase some resources. Back to you. All right, I'm going to take my chances here. It's not even a big chance. It's just a dollar, and I, I'd be happy with either one of these two fine employees. I am going to spend this person. Okay. And uh, the benefit is going to get me two coins. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one blue resource. Okay, so I'm going to uh, give you as one the resource. Coin, Just give me one coin only, yeah, because it would have cost me one, but then yeah, I get two back. Get so two back. here comes one. Perfect. All right. Very good. Well, so now, now it is you. All this I, have one, I do have one stuff. card left. Okay. Well, these are both the same kind of free. So <laughs> Free is free. <laughs> well, uh, this is a nicer free. <laughs> that is if, true. If you're going to take it for the lace and the, the thread. Okay, well, I'm going to tailor our garment. Okay. So I'm playing um, the silver card here, and this is going to let me depute something. So I'm going to deal with that in a second. Gotcha. But I'm going to tailor this one. Okay. So it's going to cost me two coins, yep. and it requires a red, one that red. one that we so talked about early on. That. Yeah, very good. It also requires lace. It's the first time I'm paying that. And now yes. I don't have any lace, Ooh. but I'm going to rent this out. So I'm going to flip it over and place it here, and I'm probably just going to get lace. <laughs> get the lace, yeah. Right? Yeah, so yeah. I always have something. I'll put some for you. Thank you. And one lace comes one right lace. on. Back. Yes, thank and now you. Now you're in a different hole. Yeah. So mm. there's that. And then now I can depute a card. So it says I can depute a card from my staff, which I'm assuming means anywhere. They're right? all hired by you, I would imagine. Yes. And I'm going to only get the amount of money <laughs> depending on what type of card it is. Are you going to get rid of a gold? I'm going to definitely get rid of a bronze. 
I think I might get rid of this bronze mm -hmm. because I'm thinking at this point in the game, uh, additional action types are more valuable than just getting money, especially because I have money now. That's right. So uh, this is going to go out of the game, and I'm going to get two coins for it because it is a bronze card. Yeah, that's good. That's what the, that's what yeah. the deck says, yeah. So that was actually the last card that was in my draw deck. So the next round, I'll have the full options. That's the thinning of it. Go into yeah. it, yeah. That is me. Back to you. How many cards do you have left? I have one card. It's this gold master. Wow. Uh, let's go ahead and hire. Okay. I just, I'm debating, do I want this one or this one? Because that's the next action I'm going to take. Uh, I think I'm going to hire the silver, though. So I'm going to spend this. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to hire this one for just one coin. Yeah, that's nice. I'm going to pick it up. And you have is, a nice deck, too. Yeah, this is the one that um, when I play it, for every three garments out there, you get a point. Get a point. And I definitely have three garments. That's why timing it was right. And I was yeah. trying to, oh, oh. You, you get to play that this round. I get to play it right away. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, not right so away. So nice. But, uh, <laughs> this bottom here, however, I do not get anything of it because it says for, um, for blue and green dresses, I would get money accordingly. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. all pink dresses out there. <laughs> then it is to me. And uh, I only have one last card in my hand. It is a bronze card. So, you know, I don't actually have a good deck. I just have a thinner one now. Um, you actually have a really nice deck. Yeah, you should draw but, a free resource, so that's pretty nice. So let me draw a free resource, and I'm going to just uh, take this action mm -hmm. and just take one of these two pink ones for sure. free. I might as well take this one because it is the better of the two. Yeah, like you don't, said. Leave, don't leave it for me. Yeah. Oh, do I, I'm going to take it for the pink, I think. Yes, I'm going to take it for the pink. Okay. And then I get to draw a random, a random resource from the bag. I'm hoping to get nice, lucky. Let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the worst case, is it a blank? Yeah, it is. Is it a blank? It's a oh. blank. It's a one in one. So, that's good. I mean, that's still great, I think. But I really wanted just another color yeah, sure. of something. Well, I go that. <laughs> so anti climactic. That's good. That, you have that now. Yeah. All right, well, I have that last card that I yep. have, so the silver, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, construct another dress. We're going to make this one. Okay. So, it's going to cost me one spool. Oh, one coin. Uh, one coin. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here we go. That's so it's one five. coin and... Now three blue. Yep. Which I have right here. Yes, and you're turning in your spool, right? There you go. I did, yeah. Uh, now the choice is, do I keep the dress and rent it? Or sell it or for sell it. 22. I could sell it, but I think I want to rent it. I think area control wow. sounds good. You're doing really well in that department. I think I need to. I kind of want to diversify. I'm in these three halls. I like these two halls here. You're doing a fantastic job keeping an economy. What the game starts on? you with 15, and I'm just trying to always maintain 15, I think. All right, I'm going to go ahead and place this rental into this hall. Okay. And I'm going to get a spool. Yeah. And let's go ahead and place my token on there just to signify that. Oh, gosh. So let's get a spool. And I am now on the board. So I have at least three dresses. Yes. So I have uh, four dresses out there. So I'm only going to get one point. But it is a point nonetheless. Nice. That's me. You, you've uh, you've left the starting block. Oh, no, <laughs> we're off the races. You're so far. Yep. All right. Uh, that's it. I don't have any more cards. Awesome. No more for you? That is the end of the action space. Yes. So let's get our income. Sure, there five. you go. So five and five. Nobody's uh, purchased any of the, de the decorations in the, no. in the kitchen yet. I, just, I can't justify it. All yeah. Right. It's kind of a, a hard early sell, right? Yeah. When you're trying to get presents on the board. Spend six, but there's only there's seven rounds. Mm -hmm. and so, I, you know, you do it in round two or three. I don't know. I'm sure there's something in there. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to remove this employee. Yep. Now we are into round four, I four, believe. Four, I believe. So we're going to be halfway through. Two. Afterwards. See, this is a nice one. You get money for uh, Ooh. You get money for uh, your um, decorations. So it looks like this one allows you, the, the bonus action allows you to uh, purchase a decoration at a $5 discount. So this one's for every decoration you have, you get a coin. This one is similar to the, the card that we saw last time, where it depends on how many uh, cards you have in your deck. That's right. And then this is uh, doing a tailor action with a two green garment discount or a two green resource discount. Ooh. That's nice. That would just make that like free. You did it. Yeah, you did it. Spade the three <laughs> coins. Done. You're done. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All right. Well, we have some other things to lay out. Right. I'll just go ahead and hand you this bag. All right. And that's it. We that's are it. all set up. So let's go ahead and, and uh, grab our three cards. Three cards. So, so I have a no more to go. So I get to choose everything <laughs> I want from here. Yes, me too. I need to choose wisely this time because I've not been choosing my cards properly. Yeah, I feel you. All right, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. I think ugh, this is picking the right cards is hard decision. Yeah, hard decision. Oh. But let's do it. <laughs> I just chose based off the color. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then, starting with you, action space. I am going to go ahead and make a dress. Okay. So I'm going to make this dress right here. It's going to cost me one coin. Uh huh. 
So that goes out. It's gonna cost me a thread. Yep, and, and two. And two pink, which I happen to have right here. And nice. it was a gold, requiring a gold. Yes. Boom, so that's it. Are you gonna rent or I'm assuming uh, you're renting? We are gonna rent. Yes, we're gonna rent and we are gonna get ourselves into the last hall. Uh, the one hall we're not in, so it's gonna cover up this gold spot. It's gonna yeah. give me four coins. Yeah. And yep. now. I give a coin. Yeah, I'll get you a Change. coin back. Here you go. Thank you. And now I am in all five halls, so I get six points, and I believe that happens right away. No, it's at the end of the game. End of the game? Yeah. Okay. Everything, all the points were pretty much at the end of the okay. game. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. So Naveen is going to get the six points at the end for being in all halls first. So now I have no rush to do that. No rush. I sacrificed that, though. That's not good. Yeah. But if I can get it before the end of the game, I can score two points. I can try to redeem some, some of that. Right. So now to me, mm -hmm. and I'm going to hire. I'm going to hire now while I can. So there's my, my gold card and no bonus there. Sure. And this is going to cost me five because mm. it's a full, it's all full. Yeah. Which one are you hiring? I think I'm going to hire this one. Yeah. It's nice. It's not bad. I see a card that you can. Yeah. It's a Taylor, Taylor action at a two green discount. I mean, there's, there are two gold cards already there. There's so. a two greener out there. There's a two greener out there. Out <laughs> all right. There. Back to you. Oh, this is so tough. Okay. <laughs> I will go ahead and use this card the silver one okay all right so i am going to um take the action of gaining uh, these oh okay yeah all right i think i'm going to take this pink green little combo here okay yeah i'll take it and i'll take it for the resources i won't take it for the double lace all right all right and then my bonus at the bottom here is i can take a tailor a garment action for mm -hmm. either a pink or blue discount of one mm -hmm. so uh let's go ahead and do that now so i'm going to take this one so i'm going to take it for the pink discount okay so I am going to overpay, unfortunately, with this double green. Okay. But it's going to cost me the double green and the and lace. The, and, and, the lace. The, and how much money was that? That was two, two coins, right? Yes. All right, here's two coins. All right. Go out. And now where do I put you? I mean, this is nice. It would get me one of these tokens for free. You know what? I think I want to be a little more competitive, though, here in okay. the royal spot. So that's going to cover up a coin. So I'll take a coin. Yeah, the royal hall. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have a coin, please? Yes. There you go. Thank you. Uh huh. And uh, that's going to be me. All right. So I'm going to play uh, this card, the yeah. new one, nice. my, my new silver card. And I'm going to use it to take the tailor garment action twice. Okay. So the first uh, garment I'm going to tailor. So there's no there's no discount on the first one. No. It's on the second one. Only on the second one. Uh -huh. So the first one I'm going to do is this. This is going to cost me five. Nice. But it requires a uh, two blue and a green, which I have in just this one. Nice. Tile. Yeah. So there's that as well as a spool. Spool. So there's that. And then I'm going to rent this out because I have all this money <laughs> and the bean is all, all over the place. Hey, you know what? I think I'm just going to go into the Royal Hall. Sure. Yeah. Get in and there. Just go into there and see what we can do. So there's that. And then I'm going to do it again. Now with a discount of two green. Nice. And this is two green and it's free. So it's kind of a no brainer. It doesn't require anything extra. Sure. No spools of thread or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and rent this out. And oh, do I cover up that last spot? <laughs> I'm just going to go here. Yeah. I'm going to take nice. that benefit now. So yeah, nice. that's going to let me take one of these for free. And I'm just going to take this one. Sure. The blue green. Blue green. It's good. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. That's it. Those are, that's my, that's my action. It's back to you. Okay. So I think I'm going to hire, uh, I'm going to spend the gold that I have here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and hire. I, I think I'm going to hire this gold one. Okay. Gold for gold, you know? Yeah. Seems pretty good. So it's going to cost me uh, three coins to do this though. So here's a fiber. Okay. I have two back. And this one, this is the one that gets me money right when I play them. So there you go. Hopefully they can, uh, they can be worth it. Well, I think I had to hire that last gold, gold card yeah. just to make sure that I keep up with the gold cards. I could technically use this gold to then go hire that person. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, how many of these do I have? I don't really like the ability of that gold card. Yeah. Yeah. One, one buck per decoration. I mean, this is nice. This, this lets me purchase a decoration at a discount of five coins. Is that bad? All right. I guess I'm going to hire. Pretty I'm nice. just so paranoid. So I'm gonna play this card okay. and I'm gonna hire this last oh, gold nice. card. Oh, nice. nice. So nice, that's nice. a that's a coin, right? Yeah. Just the one. Ugh. I really like the the ability of that one. I'm so glad you hired that one because I am gonna hire this one right here for the decoration uh, discount. So I am going to play this one. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna hire this person right here. Uh -huh. So it's gonna cost me nothing. So right. I get this one. And then now I'm going to take the bonus. So I get money equal to however many people are employed by me. Mm -hmm. So I have one, two, three, four. I hired the new one, five. 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I have the max, so I get seven uh, coins. Seven coins, okay. Yes. There you go. All I'm just right. glad it wasn't like the 15 or whatever you said earlier. Uh, so the silver one is a little bit, you get more money from the silver mm -hmm. uh, worker that looks like, I'm sorry, the, the apprentice worker, the bronze one, mm. but because they're, the they're limited. Worker. Yeah, exactly. So it kind of balances out, it seems. I think I'm going to do this finally for the first time. Statue? First time in the game. I'm going to take the token, the, the oh, nice, favorite nice, token. Nice, so nice. I get to go first uh, next yeah. round. So this is going to get me the five coins. That's how you've been making your money. Well, I, I you made I ten coins to this. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. Ten coins is a lot. And you get first dibs on whatever comes out here, technically. Yeah. But then I make it cheaper for you. Right. But it's like two still, bucks is not bad. But like, still, the one good card. That's the one good nice. card is is better than two. Timing is very important totally. in this game. So this card is also going to let me depute a card, See which I should just do <laughs> at this be? point. I'm going to depute this bronze card. Okay. Uh, you know, drawing them randomly from the bag wasn't as sweet as I hoped that they would be. So this is going to get me two coins, two coins yeah. from there out of the game. All right. I have dumped all the <laughs> coins out onto the table because it was way too noisy. So, all right. I got my two coins. Cool. Now it is back to you for your final, your final right. action. The person I just hired, the silver. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, so I'm going to hire them and pick up, I'm probably going to pick up some resources over here because I only have one token. Okay. The problem is I don't know what's coming out later. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend two coins. I'm going to get rid of them. There you go. Thank and you. I'm going to take this one, but I'm going to discard it for one lace and one spool because okay. I don't have any lace. So ah, one, so you're running out of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't feel good doing that. But the bonus I get is I get to put out a uh, decoration for a discount of five. Wow. Uh, you know what? Fireworks sound nice. Uh, so instead of spending uh, 12, I'm going to spend seven. Nice. So there we go. That's oh, that's a nice one. And yeah, and because I have a three person here, hopefully that three can then slide up into there and then it'll be an extra six points. So that'll right. be nice. Uh, let me go ahead and mark that, that I am reserving this spot. Man, oh man. For the future. I don't know. You're doing... You're doing mighty fine here, Nivian. Uh, thanks. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, your turn. Is this the year of the Naveen? No. Is it this you've, year? You've been beating me. No, no. You've definitely been... Uh, We're doing BG stats. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, yeah we'll that's find true. Out. Yeah. I will tell you, definitely. All right, for my final turn, I'm going to purchase a decoration with my, my gold card. I feel mm -hmm. like it's a little bit of a waste, but I feel I'm not able to truly value these cards properly. That's my <laughs> issue. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I struggle with it, this game a little bit. It happens. So I'm going to purchase a decoration from the kitchen. Nice. So this is at least going to get me additional income. It's going to cost me nine. Nine. Um, up front. So here's ten. Take back one. Okay. I'm going to place this here. At the end of the game, it's going to score me a point. But each income uh, phase, yep. I'm going to get one additional coin for each different color of dress I have on the board. I so think you have I have green, red, and blue. So if yeah. you can make a pink dress, then you, you'll max it out. Well, I All mean, right. in addition, this card, the bonus, gives me one coin per right decoration. Now. I have one this coin. This is the time now. to do it. So that's it. That is the end of round four. And uh, we are... We are more than halfway through. More than halfway through, yep. So three more rounds. So now yeah. we collect our income. Sure, five for me. Yes. And uh, I think it is now eight for you because it of what is. she just did. Yeah. There's ten. Get back to That is nice. That, yeah, it's nice. And nice. I get to go first. Let's you see first. if we can change the tides. <laughs> all right, so oh. the employees are all have all been taken. So we have some, look at that. You can turn in four coins for a point. I'm going to give this back, by the way, and take the thimble. Okay, sure. Thank you. Oh, we got some oh, nice lots of looking bronze. ones. The time that I'm going first, and they're all bronze. Not this one. Uh, for so every different color, you get a coin. Ah, that's not, yeah. No, this is this is one coin for each garment that you have oh, on the board. Oh, just out there. Yeah, it doesn't matter the mm. different colors. This card allows you to discard resource tiles uh, in, back out, out, and they'll give you a, a point depending on what combination you discard. So oh, I see. each red, or I think it's orange actually, each orange <laughs> sure. and each green gets you one point, and then those combinations also. Yep. This one is for each pink you have out there, it's two coins, and for mm. each red, it's a point. Interesting. I have a lot wow. of pink out there. You do. And then mm -hmm. here, you can spend uh, four coins for a point, which of course is much better than the, ten, the ten to one. Ten to one, yeah. All right. So let's refill these. Sure. We're almost. I'm going to take this one out, and then these all slide down. This is great. We're going to see some. Some, new, Some stuff. new stuff. All right, so now we are all set up. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and draw or select, select. three cards. Yeah. I only have three cards left in my draw deck, sure. so I have to take them. Okay, I've taken my three. Ready? Uh, yeah. What ooh, are you going to do? Ooh, 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 ooh. What have I done? Are you Did gonna... I mismanage here? I think I mismanaged it a little. But it'll, be, it'll show up later. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's fine. Do we know? If, if no, 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 no. Okay. It, like, I'm, I'm, for, I'm forecasting. Ah, I'm forecasting something. Yeah. Got it. He's uh, not going to have any gold cards in his hand. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start by tailoring a garment. Okay. And I'm going to play this card, sure. silver card. 
So I'm going to tailor. It's going to be really expensive, Ooh. but I really need a pink dress. So okay. I'm going to go oh, yeah. for this one. Wow. So it's four coins. <laughs> I think I'm making all kinds of bad, bad decisions here, but we're going to go with it. So that's five. I take back one and it's going to cost all this stuff. It's three pink. Okay. That's three pink. Yep. And two of these lace tokens. Wow. Wow. So wow. That. And then I'm going to I'm gonna it? put it out. Yeah. yeah. Totally. I guess I think so. Totes. And I'm just going to let you know right now that I'm going to spend a coin for the lace because I'm out now. Coin for the lace. Okay. Yes. So can I have a lace piece? Sure. Okay. Technically, you're supposed to wait yeah. until you're fully done, but I didn't want to forget. Okay. So this is a three pointer. So I'm going to place it up here in the Royal Hall. This is the last non master uh, spot. Wow. So there's pressure is that. On. Yes, that's right, Naveen. I put the pressure. It's on. It's on. Uh. Okay, that's me. Nice. Okay, I think I'm going to tailor a dress. We're going to spend the silver worker. Okay. And I'm going to tailor this dress here. So it's going to cost me one coin. All right. It's going to cost me my one lace. And exactly what I have with this token, a pink and green. Nice. So there we go. You're renting? I am renting. Where are you going? We, well, you did the thing. I did. I was planning. <laughs> was it a good move? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. But, you know, the way I see it is this one is worth six. Mm -hmm. This one is worth five. And we're tied here. So, you know. It's just one point differential, I guess. So let's go ahead ah. and get involved here. Okay. There we go. And then now I get this benefit at the bottom. So for every three dresses out there, I get a point. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to get two, two points. points. Oh my gosh. Here's where it begins. The uh, running away. I right. mean, well, I think I'm going to hire that, that gold um, employee while okay. I still can. It's going to cost five. So it's going to cost five. But it's a nice one because it's a money-making one. Yeah, and this gets one. me a coin. Yeah, it gets it back. Um, this is nice because it's going to be for every garment I have on the board. And now that we're kind of in the swing of the game, yeah. there's more garments out I think there. I that's why so. it comes a little later, too. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Very good. So I made all those ones. I know you wanted to hire one of those cards. Oof. They're cheaper now, Naveen. The bronzies, huh? Yes. Mm, I don't know. Okay, I will play this card. Okay. Okay, and this one's going to allow me at, uh, as a bonus to pay one to draw randomly from the bag. Nice. Seeing as I have no resources, it's well let, it, let it just uh, yeah, let it just dictate where I go. So I think I should probably get some resources. I think that, that seems to be the most logical thing. Yeah. So I think I'm going to take this double green. Okay. Right over here. And this double green is going to cost me uh, two coins. So can I have three, please? Yes. And so actually, just nice. only give me two because I'm going to pay the one to draw one randomly. So I paid you five. Yep. So yep. you get three back and you have to pay one. So here's yeah, your two. two. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And then uh, I get to draw one randomly from the bag. Well, I hope you get a blank one that only <laughs> only gives you lace. Well, I have no lace. Red. So I, oh yeah. If it's Do you like want a... that? No, fine. I, I hope you get a single pink. <laughs> single pink, you say? Is that what you drew? No. I Are you keeping it? No, I, I will keep it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know... Since I've been just spending my money willy nilly, I feel yeah. like I've wasted so much of my money. Let's waste a little bit more. Get it. So I'm going to play this bronze card. Okay. And I'm going to buy a decoration because I think you can buy a decoration with anybody, right? Anybody can, yes. That's okay. right. I'm going to buy this fireworks spot. Go hard. I really want 22 wanted... for 3x? Yes. Oh. I have a three pointer in there. That's going to be worth nine. So it's going to be worth nine. Um, what you really should be doing is probably valuing everything and then seeing where the trade off is, but that takes Get so it. much time. Get it. So I'm spending 22, and now I only have seven coins to my name. So I don't know if I'm going to take... Well, I guess I could. The other action here is buying one of these. I could take one of these for a coin. Yeah, you could. Is it still... Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Sure. I'll take... What do you need more of? I'm going to take this one. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't want you to have a free, a free lace. Back to you. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, so at the end of the game, I can move my... My, my garment there. Your three value to a three X. Yes. Yeah. They're going to be able to watch the fireworks in a, in a, <laughs> a piece I made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to use this bronze worker. Okay. And I'm going to take the action of gaining resources. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to spend two coins. Uh-huh. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this one, but it's a gain a lace and a, a spool. And okay. I'm just going to discard it out. And, to gain and one. take those two. Yeah. And then now my bonus is take that same action again. Now what are you going to take? I imagine you can do a free blue or you can pay a coin for <laughs> the blue. Yeah, I'm looking at these uh, these dresses and I just, I'm real nervous about some of them, but I, I will take the free blue. Let's do it. Okay. 
I like it. Hopefully we can get something good going. All yeah. Right, that's me. You probably will. I am out of cards, by the way. Oh, so it's just, okay. It's so there's no risk. All to your lonesome. Naveen is not going to take the queen's favorite token. I'm going to get to go first next round, so don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. I debated a couple times taking it, so I'm really glad I didn't. Sure. You know what? I want to hire an employee sure. with my last card here. Okay. And so it's going to cost three. Oh, I'm so short on cash. Yeah. Do you know which one you want? Yes. I'm going to take the this one. Mm -hmm. It is a bronze employee, but at least it gets me a, a point. It'll get me a point for my red and two coins for the pink right, dress. That right, gets me right. something when I play it. Sure. Um, in addition, by the way, this this card gets me one coin for each of my one, garments. Two, three, four, five garments. Yes, so I have five. So nice. I needed some money. Yeah. And then you're done, right? I, I'm done, yeah. Okay, so, so then back you. to me. I'm going to play that last card that I just drew or that I just hired. And I'm going to get some a resource. I think I'm going to take this one. It only cost me one coin. Okay. You take so the lace a, or for the pink? For the pink. Okay. And then I get the benefit on the card. So it's going to be two coins because I have the one pink. Uh, dress right there. Sure. And one point because of the one red dress I have, or the orange one yes, I have. Yes, that's right. So can you go ahead and me, please? One point, you're on. I'm on the map. You're here. Finally, more than halfway through, and I'm finally on the map. <laughs> Definitely. All right. That is. That's it. That is it. Yeah, that's that everything. Is the end okay. of the actions phase. Let's get our income. income. So you get five. five. And then I think you get a good amount. I think I get nine now. Is it nine? And you know what? I just realized that this this means I get an additional coin per garment rental I have out there. Uh, yeah. I think I might have shorted myself once or twice in thinking about uh, the different colors instead. So mm. I'm going to let that go because that was my mistake. Maybe. And I'm just going to go with, with this now. So I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten or, ooh, yeah. take that bronzy one. Okay, and that's it. So now we're going to go into round five. Yep. Uh, let's go ahead and, and refresh these employees. So these employees are out. Let's see what uh, we have nobody next. took the queen token. Mm -hmm. So then now, who is coming out? Ooh, okay. For every two, you get one. Yeah, for every two decorations, one point. This for every is two nice. garments, it's one point. That's good. Uh, for every two uh, thimbled um, garments, you get three points. Yes, and I believe the dark blue background means it's at the end of the end game. game. Yep. And then every three bucks is a point. Ah. You can turn, no, not every three bucks, sorry. You, you can, can turn, turn in three, three coins for a point. For a point. I don't wow. have that much money anymore. I spent it all on the fireworks display. <laughs> Yeah, so now we have to refill some of the resources yes. and dresses, so let's go ahead and get rid of these. All right. Okay, and so this is now the new display. We need to get our new cards. What's going on? There's this combination a, here. A good combination of strange <laughs> things. Okay. Okay. So I must take these three cards because these are the last three. I got my entire deck back. Well, you're going to be going first, so I'll, I'll follow your lead. Are we in round six? Yes. <laughs> we oh are my gosh. In oh round no. Six. This is a pen this is the second to last round. Say the word, penultimate. This is a penultimate round. I <laughs> thought we were in round five. I, I did too. Where did I where did that counting go wrong? Uh oh. There's no round tracker. It's okay. Just, but... Well that's kind of a game changer. We don't have as much time to do what we need to do. No. All right. I am ready. I selected. I don't have, I was forced to select these. These are what I was given. <laughs> I hope it puts you in a bad position. Do you have any gold <laughs> cards in there, Naveen? <laughs> Maybe. Well, I'm going to go first, and uh, what do we have here? Are these worth it right now? <laughs> I mean, this one will get you two points. I do or have no, one two point. decorations. Sorry, one point? Yeah, that yeah. gets me one point. Yeah, but it's so expensive. This one's nice. For every two that you are in, in these, these gold sections, uh, you can score three and technically unlimited up until you score This it. is nice. Yeah, that's a good one. I, I don't want you to, to have that. I don't want to point that one out. But, well, you know. I'm going to I'm going to hire that employee. Yeah. So this card it's going to cost me five. Five. And then I'm going to hire this one. It's, it's yeah, it's really That's nice. That's a nice one. It's a lot of points to score, that that'll score you the most points out of the four there, unless you can make this work, which is actually pretty good for you. Um, well, I'm not in any gold spots. So that's coin. what makes it kind of tough. Yeah. No, <laughs> you you are. Uh, you are in more gold spots than I am right there. I'm one. You're in, I mean, no, a, you're a. in one spot. Never mind. <laughs> I was wrong. Um, you have you still have time to It's a bronze that. one, though. You know, <laughs> that's the thing. Do I hire? I hire. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to spend uh, a master. Okay. okay. And I'm going to hire this one right there. So it's going to cost me three. So I get two back. Okay. There is no benefit on the bottom of this uh, card. No bonus. You got a master. Uh, and this is the one where I spend three coins for one point. Yeah, that's nice. So you're buying yourself. A point. Instead of 10 to 1 at the end, it's a 3 to 1. Well, I think, I think I should hire that person. Sure. It's only one coin. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, play this card. Okay. And pay a coin to hire this person. Sure. So that's gonna be nice. And then I also get a coin for all of my garments. I think it's still the what same five. five. Yeah. So that's a nice, I needed the money anyway. Okay. Ooh. Okay, now back to you. Now you can really start making the upper yeah. hand decisions. I tried to plan this on the last turn, yeah. so I think I'm going to be able to pull it off, which is good. So I'm going to build or make a dress with this newly acquired gold. Okay. Um, and I'm going to make this dress. It's a gold for a gold. Mm -hmm. It's going to cost me one coin. So yep. I get one coin. Thank you. And then I do have a spool. Uh-huh. And I have a double green. All right. So you're that renting this out? out? Oh, yeah. And we're going to rent it out, and I think we are going to be placing it here. Nice. So now we are we have a little bit of the upper hand there. You have you have the, the upper, upper hand, hand yeah, actually. Now I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so that's that. And now I'm I have this benefit here. I can spend three coins for a point. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna spend. I'm I'm stuck. I I can't. I'm trying to do the math. Like, what is a good return? I, I what think, are you What are you deciding? Uh, how much? How many threes I want to spend for points? Like, oh. I'm feeling like six or nine, because it, wow. it would be nice to have some money for some. I mean, all decor, of those. Perhaps. All All of those are good value. Three coins to a point in this game. I'll, I'll spend six and hang on to 15. Okay. Okay, so there we go. So I'm going to get two points for that. Yeah. I don't know if this is a mistake. Please let me know. You will find out. Please let me know. If this is a <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll, I could I mean, try to figure out myself. We have a pretty good spread there right now. Yeah. That's, All right. That's me. So I'm going to play this card. Okay. And Ooh. the first, it's going to be a double tailor. So the first tailor is going to be this, this dress. Okay. And it's going to be free. Free. I have to pay a, a blue and a... A blue and a pink. And a spool. And a spool. So nice. there's that. And here's my spool. Okay, very good. And then I'm going to place it. Where do I want to put this? Well, if you put it in the top right, you will get the all halls bonus. No, no, you no, still need I'm to be still, here as well. Sorry, yeah. I apologize. But I kind of want to put it here for now. Because right now we are tied. And now you're leading. And now I'm leading because yeah. I, I break the ties in that spot. That's right. So mm -hmm. for my second one, it's going to be at a discount of two green. So I'm going to take the rightmost here. It's free Fantastic. as well. And I just have to pay the, the spool. Yep. And this is going to go up now here. Now's your all halls, yeah, attempt, yeah. So I'm getting, I'm getting closer to the, to the all halls. At least I'm in the halls. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> so, and so over here, if we end the game and nobody gets into these master spots or purchases the decoration, mm -hmm. purchase, yeah, purchases the decorations, yep. then the, uh, there's no tiebreaker. It's just we both get the full amount of points. So oh. we can be friendly here, Naveen. <laughs> Although... <laughs> Um, it's not quite, quite your style. It's like it doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's me. Now it's back to you. Okay. I think I'm going to do this now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend this card. Okay. And I'm going to take the queen's token. Ah. Oh, I would like first dibs. The three points, the end of the game. Well, I don't know. no, I would it's... have to do it again at the end of the game to yes, do this. That's so, right. But I would like five coins going into the next round and first dibs on everything that I see. There you go. Because I get my whole deck back to me. So uh, I like that. Uh, the bonus I have here is I can spend one for a spool or a lace. I'm looking at, I mean, I'm looking at all those garments. Not many require lace. I mean, just this one requires lace. I, I will not take that bonus right there. I don't know if this is wrong of me. Okay. But I, well, you'll find gonna, out if you I'll end up being out. short, right? I will definitely find out. All right. All right. So, all right, I'm actually going to purchase a decoration. Mm. So I'm going to play this card. And I'm going to purchase that one. This one? Yes. I'm going to hire that musician. Sure. Is that what it is? Doesn't that cost eight? Yeah, eight. So I'm really spending money that is pretty short. But I feel like that's the most bang for my buck right now. Sure. Yeah. So you're yeah. going to get this. And it'll yeah. be two points. It'll two, yeah, be two points at the end of the game. In addition, for every two garments that I have. So, so have two, four, six. Six. So, so three, three points. points. Oh, here we go. That's go. nice. That's back to you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this bronze card. Okay. And I'm going to take some resources. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to take this double green right here. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to cost me two, but the benefit I get here is two. So okay. let's just call it so uh, even. even. Yeah. I'm going to take that double me. green. I'm seeing what you're looking at <laughs> yeah. here. Everything's sliding down, so it looks like it's going to get kind of cheap. Okay. I think uh, I'm going to sacrifice one point to do this, but it will probably pay off in the end if I can try to make it work. Okay. But I'm going to play this card. Okay. And I'm going to hire this person. It's free. It's free and it's end game scoring. Yeah. So this if I can get another uh another garment in one of the, the the master spots, then I get three points at the end of the game. Sure. Yeah. So that'll be worth the sacrificing the one point because I was gonna use it to buy decoration. Right. Which I'll end up doing last. Sure. So 
Okay, so this is gonna give me uh, one point for every two decorations. You have three and decorations. Have three. So you're in. So it's one point. We're tied. Five five. Okay, and then now I have this card here. I think I'm gonna use this card to buy a resource. Okay. This is just a really terrible combination. Like Yeah, because the double reds are like the red red. Yeah, the new ones that are gonna come in for the last round are gonna go in the very left here. That's so they're right. gonna be super expensive. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna have to play this card and purchase a I'm gonna purchase this. Sure. The, the green. one green. Yeah, that's gonna be two coins. And that's it. This doesn't have any additional bonus because it's it's at the end of the game. Gotcha. All right. That was it. That was, that was it. my final turn of round six. We were wrong this we were whole wrong. time. Yeah. So uh, I get five coins going into income. Okay. And then you get what was it? Ten. It's ten. Yeah. It's the same. Did anything well, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Again, you get to go because first. Of this right here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and so, expose. Final round. You get the thimble. I do. Because yeah. You have the queen's favorite token. Yes. There you go. Oh. <gasps> Sorry. My thimble. <laughs> Final okay, four. we have some cool looking end game cards here. So they all have the dark blue, except for that. Ooh. Um, this is going to get you points depending, depending on how many cards you have in your deck at the very end of the game. Uh, this is for each uh, pair of lace and um, thread, you get you get three points. That's yeah, not bad. This card is going to get you two points at the, end, at the end of the game for each pair of... Um, I guess they're color-coded, depending on if it's a gentleman's frock and a lady's gown. Yes, the gentlemen so, are pink and, and orange. And orange is red. Yeah, yeah, and the ladies are blue and green. Right. So for each pairing that you can you, you have, up. and it's two points each, and then this lets you buy a decoration at a 10-coin discount. Wow, 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 wow. So that's that. Let's go ahead and refill these. Sure, I yeah. mean, we didn't really take many resources yeah, not this, time. this time around. All right, this is our final lineup. Uh, Ooh, okay. It's looking, it's looking a little scary. All right, cards, so, get your best. Final time, Naveen. Get your best. <laughs> okay, that was the hardest decision <laughs> of the game. Did you have full? full oh no, you. Okay. I had no. I didn't have my entire deck, but yeah. I wish because that the cards I spent were really nice. Yeah. But oh, yeah. that was tough. Three cards for the last round, and you. I know you're gonna take the card that is really <laughs> sweet. Yeah. So why don't you just. Start Take by doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. I'm going to spend okay. the uh, gold master card. Yeah. And I'm going to take the one that gets you points for having uh, cards, nice. for having a lot of employees. So uh, you're going to get up to 11 points for having 11 plus. Uh, yeah. I have I have that. Yeah. 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 And so this is going to come to me. And because I have 11 plus, uh, this particular benefit here. Gets you money. It gets me money. But I do have to pay the five. So it's, I pay the five, get seven, so just give me two instead. Okay. Yeah, if that there makes sense. There you go. Yes. Cool. All right. Okay. So now to me. All right. Well, I'm going to tailor a garment okay. right now while I can. So I'm going to play a gold card. Ooh. And I'm going to tailor this one. Okay. The two green, it's going to cost me two coins. You don't so have that free green or one. I huh? don't. Okay. I spent it. I used it last, last round. Oh, that's like a darker one. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to tailor this one. It's going to cost two greens. So I'm just going to play oh, both these nice. right now. Yeah. It does not require a um, spool or lace, lace. Yeah. which is nice. So I'm going to rent it out, of course. And because I used a gold card to do it, I'm going to place it over here, which allows me to take a decoration, or sorry, mm. a, um, a resource from one of the drawers. That's right. So if it wasn't clear, you do not need to tailor a garment that has a gold thimble to place yep. on this spot. You just have had to play have to have played a gold card That's right. to place on that spot. So uh, let me place my token here. Just so you're winning that tiebreaker now. Forget. I am. I get to take a uh, a resource at no cost. I'm going to take this one. And that's, that's it. Uh, it's back yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. OK, fine. Shoot her. Good job. <laughs> oh, wait. I think I'm in all five holes. You are in all five holes. I did it. I wasn't you. convinced that I would make it there in the end. You did it. The spread is still pretty good. I mean, no, you have uh, um, 11 points from that one card alone, so. I do. Okay, Touché. so I will go ahead and spend that new card that I got for the brown, and uh -huh. I'm just going to go buy myself a decoration. Okay. I'm going to buy this decoration. Okay. So it's going to be 13 coins, so here's a 10. I'm going to place your token on it. 15, yeah. So that you can you can mul multiply times two? Yeah, so I gave you 15. Okay. And I get uh, two back. Two back. Yeah. There you go. All right. Let me just put this on the... Oh. It's just, the right yeah, it's kind of hard to see. It's kind of hard to see. All right, well, I'm going to tailor another garment okay. now that I have another resource for it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this card. I'm not going to end up using this bonus because okay. it's... Uh, I don't know. Seems, I don't know if I'm going to use it. Yeah. So I'm going to tailor um, this. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be free. 
Okay. And it costs me one red. So that's what I was able to pull from there. Right, right. Ooh. As well as one lace. The lace you have. So there's okay. that. Where's that And going? I'm going to rent it out, of course. And I think I'm going to place it here in this last spot. Nice. And plop that right there. And that's that's it. That's it for me. So now it goes back to you. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I will go ahead and tailor a garment. Okay. I have a gold one here. Uh -huh. And so I'm going to tailor this garment. So it requires a gold. Yep. Okay. So it's one, one coin. One coin. Okay. There goes one coin. Yep. Uh, it's going to cost me my red. Yep. And a spool. Okay. And so I am going to rent it out. Where are you going to place it? Uh, oh, we're going to place it probably right here. Ah, so it gets you a, a, uh, it gets you a, one uh, of those. Any one of those resources? Yeah. Uh, I'll just take this one. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and turn it in for, for one of for each. One of each. Okay. Just in case I somehow get that card. Nice. Are you going to make another garment? All right, well, I'm going to try to get some additional endgame scoring. I'm going to play this card uh, to hire this employee. So yes. it's going to cost me three. Okay. So here's my one, two, three. And this is a bronze employee, but it's the, it's going to give me points, two points for each of the pairings. I didn't do the math on it. I'm just hoping that I did enough <laughs> because of all the colors. Sure. Um, in addition, it gets me one coin for each decoration. Okay. So I think I still have three, right? Mm -hmm. It's one, two, three. So yeah, nice. Three coins. Money is not really enticing right now. <laughs> now that we're at the end of the game, I just hope that I have like multiples of ten. You know? Yeah, yeah. But... That's what you mean. All right. So back to you. Do you only have one, one last card? I have card? one last card. It's one a silver, turn. so I will not be hiring, even though I did this whole thing right here. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spend it, and I think. I'm going to tailor a dress. So if I take this dress and tailor it, it's mm -hmm. going to cost me three points. Mm -hmm. So one, two, and three. That goes out. Okay. And then now it's the double green, which I have. Yeah. And I believe if I put it in here, I believe that makes me... Uh, yes. Have the area control there. You have area control there. Because I have the, uh, the gold spot. Yes. Now I have this uh, place out a decoration for a five discount. Yeah. So I could technically go here. Yeah, and you can do three multipliers. Yeah. Three times, all three of them. Because I have two ten. Two X. Yeah. I can't do this one. I'm short by two coins. Unfortunately, that oh. because that cost me three, I can't do this. I would have really liked it to get the four, plus had control over there. Yeah. Not gonna happen. Okay, so let's go ahead and spend ten mm -hmm. um, with the five discount. Yep. To go ahead and place out. You get, get, you get a coin back. You get a coin back. I don't think we get income, though, later on. I think we do get do income. We? I think I, I'll have to confirm. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, and let's go ahead and put that out there. So okay. at least now I have the area control for this at the end of the game. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's going to get you some nice... Ooh. Gosh, this is going to be... What do you got? Three... This is going to be 16 points just in your, your Royal Hall uh, garments. Yeah, because it's going to be eight times. All of them are two X's. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and well... I'm out of cards, so that, that's me. Okay. Yeah. And yes, we definitely get income one more time before the end of the game. Gotcha. So uh, back to me for my final turn, and I have a bronze card here that I'm just going to use to, to uh, purchase a decoration, right? Okay. Yeah. Just need to buy some points. Where to? Well, I think I have enough money for this. Four points. Uh, 17, yeah. And, and that would and be... And that's nine points. Huh? It's four for the decoration, plus you would be... Yeah, yeah I would, it, would, it would help me get that, that for control, sure. right? 100%. So it's 17 coins. So it's almost all my money. I would have actually done that one had I had enough money. Yeah, it's I was nice. Short. Yeah. It's a really nice musician. It's a, it's a musician. <laughs> they I hired me. a musician, not, yeah. a, not a decoration. <laughs> that's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And that's it. That's that it. Is the, that is the final action of this entire game. So let's collect our income for the final time. Okay, sure. Uh, you get, I think uh, I get five, which five. is not going to really amount to anything at the Never end. Never went to the kitchen. I'll take it. Oh, can I have at least, yeah, I think I'm going to have at least ten. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus the five, so that's fourteen, yeah? Fourteen. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> yeah. You'll get one point out of it. It's ten yeah. to one again. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take the fifteen, give back one. Sure. And that's it. That is the end of the game. So now we're going to go into uh, final, scoring, final scoring, which yeah. is going to be basically everything that we've been doing that we haven't been um, receiving our stuff on. Yep. And the end game scoring, you can follow along. It's all up here. There yep. are seven parameters, starting with turning money. in your money for points. So I just have the 10. I have a point. six, so uh, it's nothing, but no points. Let's so, leave it. Leave okay, it with sure. With you. We're going to get you a point. One point, yes. Okay. Thank you. 
Then we're going to score points for any of our end game staff members, <laughs> including the royal favor token, which it's nobody, 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 uh, nobody, nobody got. Could take that. So anything that has that blue, the blue background. background. I think I only have one of them. Yeah. Okay, it's that one card that says for uh, having 11 or greater, uh, I'll get 11 points and yep. employees. So yes. I have four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's going to be 11 points. Yeah. That's so we nice. go from five to 16. 16. Oh, yeah. there's, there's that. Started. Um, well, I have two of them. I have this one. Nice. This is for uh, every two of the master ones that I have. It's three points. Let's I think see. I only have two of them, right? Do you only have two? Yeah. Or do I even have two? These two. This one and this one. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah, I was so like, then, you definitely have it. Yeah. So you get three points? Yeah, three points. So six to nine? Yeah, okay, so and that was worth one? it. This is going to be <laughs> yeah. every uh, pairing of Men and women. Pink, pink, orange, and blue green. Let's just count them by color. Sure. Right? So for the, the blue greens, I have one, two, three, four, five, five, six. Six. Okay, so six of the, the ladies, technically the ladies' dresses, and the gentlemen uh, attire. I have one. Yeah, so it's a pink and orange, right? Two. So one, two, three. Three. I think just three. three. So it's going to be three pairs. Yeah, three times two. Times two, so six, six points. points. Okay, so now you are at 15. Okay, so that's not so bad. Yeah. Because six and, you yeah. did two of them, yeah. yeah. Then we're going to score the majorities in each of the five halls, keeping in mind that in a two-player game, nobody scores a second place. Right. So let's just go from here, from here and wrap okay. around. There are five halls. Sure. So this one, uh, so we're equal. We're tied. The tiebreaker is whoever has the most in this section. So that's yeah. going to be me. The master so spots. I'm going to get four points. Uh huh. So we go to 20. Nice. Uh, this one, it is, we're tied. Uh huh. Sec uh, nobody's in here, but the second tiebreaker is whoever has the decoration yep. or the musician. So it's going to be Monique. So she's going to get two. Okay. Oh, that wasn't so great. That's okay. <laughs> Over here, definitely you. Yeah, three to two. So you get six. Six. Here we go. So 20 to 26. Uh, over here, I it, it's going to be me because I have the tiebreaker. Yep. Right? So, so I get three. three. So you're going to 20. And then I just snuck in right here. Yeah, you did. That was because good. Because we have the same number. We both are in here. Yeah. And I took the... So the second tiebreaker tie then is the decoration. I, want, I wanted it so for sure. Five, five points five for points. that one. So you're at 25. Okay. This okay. Is, okay, this is good. Oh, we also score the majority in the fireworks. Yes. So, so that is actually its own parameter. Right. So I have three of them. Yes. So to my I one. Get, so we uh, get six, six points. So 26 to 32. Nice. Okay. This is where the spread really <laughs> will, will be at. So now uh, for each of the fireworks decorations you funded, you can move one of the garments into that spot because yeah. they're going to now enjoy the fireworks. So I have three of them. Yeah. So all three are just going to kind of move right on in. And, and they're all the same multiplier, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they're all 2x, right? Yep. So I have this one 3x, and I think one of them is worth more than the other, this yeah, one. Yeah, totally. So that's, this is going to be scored normally, and this will get me, me 3x on that. Okay. Next, this stands for statue scoring, and that is specifically if somebody uh, purchased one of these statues, mm -hmm. then they would get points. It's two points for each different color of garment. I think that's why I got confused earlier. Yes, but that's right. neither of us uh, purchased the statue, so no. we're going to skip that uh, entirely, mm -hmm. and we're going to go to the final one, which is the big, the big scoring mm -hmm. uh, bunch here. A bunch of stuff. And so that means we're going to be scoring our garments, our decorations, and the all halls bonus. Mm -hmm. And we're supposed to start in uh, in turn order, so starting with Naveen. Okay. So do you want to start with your all halls bonus? Sure. So I get six. six so points. thirty-two to thirty-eight. To thirty-eight. Yes. And then you get two. Uh, yes, and then I get two. So that's the all halls bonus. Okay. Let's do, do you want to do decorations and then do garments last? Sure, we can do that. Which decorations did you buy? Uh, none. Oh, you didn't buy any? No. Oh, because you bought the fireworks uh, yeah, displays. I bought fireworks, and yeah. these are not worth points on their own. It has to be the multiplier of right. the garment. Okay, so I have that one. You have two. It's two points plus... Three. Th yeah, three plus four, so seven. Seven, okay. Okay, so I'm going to go to 34. 34. Yep. And then now we're going to score the actual garments themselves. So if you'd like to score yours. Sure. So it's two plus three plus two. So that's going to be seven. Okay. Let's just do that now. So seven. So 45. Okay. And then two plus two plus two plus four. So that's another 10. So yep. six plus four is 10. 10. So you're at 55. 55. Ooh, wrapping around the board here. Okay. And, uh, then... and then now we have these ones, which is, I believe, they're three, all times two, six, right? Three, six, seven, eight times two, which is 16. 16. So 55 plus 16. 71? 71, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't can't beat that. We're going to try. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So, so you have two, four, uh -huh. five, six, seven, uh -huh. eight, nine, 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, let's do that first. So, so 52, I believe. And that included this? Yes. Okay, so 18 plus 34. It's going to go to 52. To 52. 52. And then, come on, are you going to get me? <laughs> what is this, like 20 three points? 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Niner. Valiant effort. Okay, so 52 to 61. 61. Ah. Not even close. That's close. 10 points 10 off. Points, yeah, 10 points. I don't even know what's close these days, right? Yeah. In a Euro game. Like, this is a true, this is a Euro game. Yeah. It's been a while since we played a Euro game. Yes. But good job. Thank you, yes. You so deserve that. Final score, Monique 61 with me with uh, 71. Yes, that is Rococo. That's it, yep. Good job. This is uh, this is one of Naveen's uh, top 50 games, somewhere, right? Yeah, somewhere in the top 50. I think it was within the top 30, I want to say. I could be wrong. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it, yeah, it was up there, and um, I still love it. <laughs> Good job. You were the best uh, tailor in all the land. Now everybody's going to go to you for all of their tailoring needs. That's right. Uh, and you get the most people up in the fireworks, by they, the way. So. Yeah, I was like, you guys got to check out the view. <laughs> yeah. You had the music party, though. You had a dance party going I on I did. There. I invested in the arts. In the arts, right? yes. So Very I invested good. in the community. <laughs> Very nice. Well done. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about it. Sure, um, yeah. Like, like we were saying earlier, this is on your top 50. It is, so yes. So tell everybody why you love it so much, Naveen. <laughs> well, I, I like it because um, it, it is a true kind of, it has that true Euro mechanisms in it. There is area control, obviously, by getting your dresses out into the different spots. There's competition for the different resources. Mm -hmm. uh, timing is very, very important in this game in the sense that you don't want to overpay for certain things. Sometimes you want to go second because... The drawers get a little cheaper. Um, some of the workers get a little cheaper. And you're like, you know what? I would have liked that worker, but I'll take another one for a discount, you know, yeah. a different one. So there's lots of things that are kind of going on in the game. I will say that uh, the game does scale pretty well, mm -hmm. which I appreciate also in games. So, um, yeah, I think it's a fantastic game. I, I've always been a big fan of games where you're getting one type of resource and trying to turn them in and convert them into points somehow. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, this one has it. Yeah, uh, that's probably the best thing, or that's the thing that I like the most in this game, it's kind of what you you touched on, where the turn order, it's kind of like a little dance, this like meta game of mm -hmm. turn order of like, well, who's gonna who's gonna take the first employee? Who's gonna pay the most? And how are you gonna do it? Are you gonna be able to do it where you can take two resources and you swipe, you know, two of the good resources from one drawer? Yeah, that whole thing is really neat, and um, it doesn't really get old, right? Like you have there's seven rounds, but by the very end of it, you're still like sweating over who's gonna be able to hire the first employee. Yep. Because of the of how the effects get better as you play, as the further into the game you get. That's right. Yeah. So I thought that was really cool. I also really like the theme of this game. Yeah. It's so unique. It's very unique. Um, yeah. I'm I'm really. It's not necessarily like my cup of tea. This like time this time period and just this, but but the fact that it's so unique and it's so endearing mm -hmm. is really nice. That plus the Iono tool artwork is yeah, oh, just yeah. like really, really nice. it's really beautiful one. on the board. Mm -hmm. I have heard a lot of uh, you know a lot of people say that they had preferred the original version. I will say I've only played that version once, and it was several years ago, so I don't ago. remember it enough to make a true comparison. To me, this is a game. Yep. This is now Rococo, and uh, the, the colors are beautiful. But the thing that's interesting about specifically the deluxified version is usually you'll see those versions for like uh, really heavy games. Mm -hmm. And this is definitely like, in, in my opinion, it's more of a medium, medium it's, weight. Yeah, right? I would say if it's right in that medium category mm -hmm. where it's not super crunchy, um, it's not super right. sprawling. Yeah. Everything is very contained in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the most sprawling thing would be probably the way your deck building works maybe uh, yeah, you know, but even that is kind of all its own closed system yeah it's a very elegant design um the, the one thing that to me that is a little bit uh kind of weird or finicky are maybe the, purchasing some of the decorations mm. like the the kitchen and the statue decorations maybe if we learned how to use that to our advantage we would score better yeah but for right now decorations are just such a hard sell in the early game in the early game you yeah. find yourself scrambling in the late game to buy them. And, yeah. and I guess that is also kind of cool because it does create that tension around the table of does, yeah. who's going to get the decorations that are really important by the end of the game because yep. it helps uh, break ties and stuff. Mm -hmm. But definitely that early game, it's it's not something you're thinking about. Yeah, uh, I really enjoy the deck building part of the game because in sometimes in, in like these uh, Euro deck builders, it's like you buy a card and like you almost like never see it again. It's like mm -hmm. I buy it, okay, I can use it once, maybe get it the second time, and then it's like, there it goes, it's yeah. gone. Uh, I like the way the, me the mechanism goes where it's like you get to choose all the cards that are part of your deck. Yes. Pick the three that you like for this coming right, round, right. but think about the ones that you need for the next round because those are the ones maybe you want to hold back. There was mm -hmm. one time in this in this game where all the, the employees came out with the, the random, the way they, they're drawn, and I was like, you know what? Those are not 
anything that I really, really want. So I'm just going to withhold the gold for the next one mm-hmm. because I know something sweet has to be coming out later mm-hmm. on. So um, I think that's a very, very interesting part of the game. That's probably... Uh, that might be my favorite part of the game. Is the way that <laughs> is. I know. I know. I, said, I was gonna say that too. Oh, yeah, like, things, actually, yeah. maybe that is the part that I like the most. Yeah. Because when you're deciding which employees to hire, the colors they matter so much. You might really go for that royal favor token to be first, and then suddenly all these bronze cards come out when you're really looking for gold. Yeah. But <laughs> because... I do appreciate that all the employees come out first. Yes. Then you make your decision. It's not That's like true. you made your decision and then these are the guys that we have to hire. Uh-huh. Oh, come on. You know, yeah. So. And there is a, a one pager that comes with the game that. That, that tells you all of the options that you're going to be able to see because you mm-hmm. play out all the cards it's just which level two cards come up first or which level six come up first right yeah. i would so, recommend for new players to check out what are the the blue end game scoring cards um before you play that can kind of guide you is like okay what is kind of important in this game mm-hmm. um what what do i need to do to to make sure I, I can try to attempt to score some points it gives you just kind of a framework or an mm-hmm. idea as to what's valuable i will say this game i do struggle a little bit in thinking about strategy because i if you're a mathy person, I'm sure you can value, every time you take an action, I'm sure you can value the exchange, mm-hmm. what the exchange is gonna be like in terms of points. Yeah. And that's just not something that I can do as quickly as some people can when they're just like, well, no, that doesn't make sense. I'm not gonna buy that firework display. It's only gonna give you a 2X on this garment, that yeah. much money, a 2X it's not on worth a two, it, right? But you spent, but you spent 14, which yeah. is just te- technically a one-pointer. So it would benefit yeah. people who can do that really well um, there's also some luck of the draw in terms of the, the types of resources that will come out and the, uh, the garments that you'll be able to tailor. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the luck here is, is not super significant. You know, I've, I've, I've complained to... about games in the past yeah. that have like some, some real yeah. strong elements of luck. Like games like Grand Austria Hotel where like, you know, a lot of the luck really, really uh, affects your actions, the, the actions that you can take. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this one, it's just it's just a matter of the resources and the garments that you can make. And it's only uh, four colors, mm-hmm. right? So it's just a matter of having that certain combination of resources. And there's a lot of different garments that come out. So the chances of you being able to, to tailor one of them is pretty high. You just have to have the right worker and the uh, the right amount of money and all of that is super interesting having the yeah. right worker at the right time and then the in, the, uh, the economy of the game it's all really interesting the way it works together yeah and also i will say in a uh th- this this board is two-sided so this is the two and three player version mm-hmm. uh there's also the the four and five which is on the opposite side mm-hmm. um i really like this game at three players because it's the same board setup and the it's tighter it's tighter yeah and like really like figuring out your turn order and like seeing resources go by and seeing dresses that you want to make yeah. and go by and you're like oh if i can just if I could just hire this employee <laughs> and still that dress will still be there towards the end, it'll be awesome. Yeah. So um, I enjoy the two player experience, but I think the three player experience is my favorite for this one. Yeah, I, I would, I can see that. Mm-hmm. It's definitely way less stressful at two. It's kind of like, fine, okay, you hire that person. I can wait now, right? I can exactly. wait a little bit because exactly. I don't think you're gonna hire the other ones. Yeah, that's it. And again, back to the whole uh, pricing of the areas, it's a lot more interesting at three players. Yeah. And uh, that's for Coco. Thank you all so much for watching our video today. And again, thank you to our Patreon community for voting on this title. It was really fun to prepare for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you enjoy videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.